What I want to do in this video is combine three of the features you can use in Visionary Render to create a nice effect that the user control can control um, in a scene. So the first thing we're going to do is create a dynamic section. I'll do it on the scene's route. And that has put a slice through all of the geometry in the scene because it was created on the scene's route. And down in the section link in the properties, we can see that it's put the scenes in there. Whatever I place in that section link, that's what the dynamic section will go through. First thing I'm going to do is turn off visible so that we don't actually see the plane. And then I want to replace that scenes with the body of this car. So drag that into there. And now, as long as the section is selected, if I hold down the right mouse button and move it, I'm moving that section, that dynamic section around. So on the dynamic section, I'm going to create a sequence going to record a keyframe right at the beginning. I'm going to move to 10 seconds. I'm going to make sure that dynamic section is selected and drag all the way to the very end and hit record again. Let me rename the sequence. Peel body. So when I play that now, the body is peeled away. That looks quite good. So what I could do for interaction purposes is create a GUI button, place it absolutely anywhere, and with a click event on that, I could play the sequence forward to the end. But what I want to do is let me get rid of that, is have an event on this slider which we've got, which controls the position of this sequence. So the user has more control over that dynamic section. So the slider has been created in here, billboard, GUI, then slider. So the first thing we need to do, right click on the slider, create an event. We want a move event, so I'll create other, change that here to a move event and open this by clicking on script here. What we need to do is drag and drop peel body, dragging and dropping items into the script editor creates a local variable and whatever the word is here that's what the local variable is called underneath that we can go peel body dot position equals underscore underscore self dot value if we compile that drag this now, we can see that the position of the slider, the handle, equals the position in the sequence. Unfortunately, it only goes to two seconds. If we look at the slider, it's due to the min max here. So I could change that to 10 seconds because we need it to go all the way to 10. Or here I can go asterisk 5. So I'll multiply this by 5. Compile. Take this to the beginning now. We have this very nice interactive effect. 
So we're using dynamic sections, sequences, and this part is in module 12 of the Visionary Render Training, the GUI module.